off just going up against Southern Miss. Always a very physical game. Talk about that matchup. Uh, they got we got to try to match their intensity with what obviously their physicality, but we've been doing a great job with that. We just always never finishing, so that finishing and matching their physicality is going to be a big thing that we got to work on. What's it going to be like for you going out and playing your final game? <laughs> I mean, all 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 us been talking about it. It's going to be emotional, but we all got to just get get the game, like get through the game, like we got to. Focus on the game, basically, and don't let this being our last game playing together get to us and all that. I mean, but it's always gonna sit in your mind the whole game. What's the What's it been like your career here? I mean, probably not as many wins as you want, but just kind of sum up your time here. Great. I mean, ups and downs. I mean, you're gonna have that anywhere you go, but it's how you how you deal with it that's going to make you a better person in the end, regardless if you're football successful or outside of football, you're more successful. Just facing adversity in your life, how you deal with it is going to help you in the long run. Do you feel like that it's it's heading in the right direction being here? I mean, you guys have been so close lately, and like you said, you just need to finish. Do you kind of see it turning over? Oh uh, Yeah, I, 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 I really do. I see younger guys playing harder. I see desire in their eyes. Even though the season ain't turned out for us seniors how we want it to, at least these younger guys can see that they're progressing to have a better season next year. And then that their off season, they got to work twice as hard than what we did. What would it mean to be able to go there and get a win to kind of help lay that foundation <laughs> for next year? It would mean great to send us out on a good note and have these younger guys coming in with the following mindset. Oh, we just came off a win last year, so let's keep it going. getting to know his players more and knowing what he got in front of him and utilizing and taking advantage of it. Like at first, he really didn't really know. He knew who he brought in, what he expected out of them, but he didn't know what to expect out of people that was already here. So I guess that's what I've seen a lot of him. Like a lot, like a lot changed with him. So he got to know his personality. Yeah, he got to know, yeah. You can help him. Yeah. He talked about uh, at his press luncheon yesterday about we got some things we got some secret things, kind of, what it sounds like that we're going to do. You, do you feel, is it kind of exciting getting ready for this last game? Yeah, just simply because what we practiced yesterday, I'm looking forward to doing it <laughs> and playing my last game with all my friends, the seniors and all the younger guys. Is it a feeling, or, I mean, it's kind of a nothing to lose it. Let's go out and just give it everything we got last game. Yeah, but when he asked me, like, what do we want, what do you want to do this week? I was like, man, we got nothing to lose. We could just mess up their record. <laughs> That's it. So I had the mindset of let's do whatever it takes, like, whatever it takes. 